guys, welcome back to the channel. I just found out I'm not Mark Harmon. Weird. Anyway, okay guys, so this is my first discussion video. Please, please forgive me for the echo. I'm filming this with my GoPro until I get my proper lens and microphone. Um, I'll be doing it like this, and this is just a makeshift um, studio for now. Uh, that's a Pagani. Uh, these are my Hot Wheels. I have other Hot Wheels. I will be doing giveaways. I've been building up some Hot Wheels uh, sets, so I'll be giving away these. Um, this one has... This is... Oh! This one's hard to give away because it's a P1. It's got the P1 in it. Uh, I've been trying to find a P1 forever. Um, I'll be giving away this one, which has the Veneno. I'll be giving away this one, which has the Senna, so you'll get a P1 and a Senna, and this one with the 4GT. What we'll be talking about in this episode is obviously the new Hennessy uh, F5 is out. Uh, we'll be talking about the SSC to Atara run, rerun, and then talk about the AMG GT Black Series breaking the Nuremberg uh, lap record, uh, for those of you who don't know. Now, if you actually look at the time, which is uh, 6, 40, 6 minutes 48 seconds, it's actually more than what the SVJ, who held the record prior. But see, they did it from a different distance. So if you were to say, take the SVJ and the AMG GT Black Series, uh, they raced it from a different, a different lengths of the track. But if you were to actually put them together side by side, the AMG GT uh, took the, the time of 6 minutes 48 seconds. I love this car. Um, uh, most of my uh, followers know I love the Black Series lineup of cars. C63 is one of my dream cars. This SLS Black Series was a goal car for uh, this year to film. I missed one by 10 minutes. Uh, I feel really bad for that. Um, um, okay, so uh, yeah, so the AMG GT Black Series. Now, what uh, most people don't realize is that Volkswagen all-electric uh, race car that got the Pikes Peak uh, record of like, I think it was like eight minutes. I think it's, uh, yeah, eight minutes. The Volkswagen HD race car you see here. That actually has broken the lap record for all production cars. It's actually, they beat it by 40 seconds, which is insane. Um, not a lot of uh, automotive discussion channels talked about that. I don't know why, um, but it, I think it doesn't count because it's a race car. Excuse me, it's a race car and that it's electric. So big congrats to uh, Mercedes AMG. I know Schmee's getting one. Um, uh, Remove before race is getting one. Um, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful layout. They could have done more with the exhaust, I think. Um, but the options look good. Uh, uh, Hennessy F5. This thing is insane. It's named after the Fujimata, Fuji, oh, I can't pronounce it, Fujimata um, scale for the tornado, the Japanese scale for tornado, the F5 obviously being the strongest. So this thing obviously in VMAX is supposed to go up to 500 kilometers an hour. They will be doing a test run at the NASA uh, test run like they did with the the Venom GT. Uh, the Venom GT before uh, did break the record, but they only did it one way, which doesn't count. Um, that's why there was a lot of debate over the Bugatti 305 getting the record uh, because it was done on special tires and it was done on a test track one way. So, uh, like the Kona Seg, uh, Aguirre RS taking the record, they did it uh, both ways. Um, customer's car, customer's tires, street tires, and got 297 miles per hour. So this Venice, um, Hennessy Venom F5 uh, is supposed to break that, it's supposed to break the 300 mile an hour and the 500 kilometer an hour. Um, Shmi, it was released on Shmi and Mr. JWW. From the looks of it, it's beautiful. Um, the, I'm having a little bit of a problem with the back end of it. See, the whole idea behind my channel is that this is an unbiased look at the automotive industry. Um, you know, like I won't pull any punches, like I'm not afraid to pull any punches, I'm not afraid to talk the truth and give my opinion on stuff. So, uh, 
it, yeah, so it, it's beautiful, but I, I find it weird when you get to the back quarter panels, the, it, the wheel gap and fitment doesn't really sit well with me. But other than that, it's a gorgeous car. Uh, when you get inside, it's beautiful, but then you get to the actual driver's cockpit and he just, like, the dash is like just a screen, a square carbon fiber screen. It looks like something you could order off of eBay or Walmart. Like, I, I just don't get why you're gonna sell a car for multi-million, millions of dollars and you're giving your clients just this weird dash that looks like something you could order off a JDM or tuner car site. Um, so that's my basic problems with it. The numbers are, it's uh, based off a, eight, I think 836, uh, 800, I think it was 836 kilogram carbon fiber tub. Um, it's 1300 kilos altogether. Uh, the power to weight ratio is uh, insane. So uh, just to give you some context, a Chiron is uh, 869 horsepower per uh, ton, uh, whereas the Venom FI will have something like 1100 horsepower per ton power to weight ratio. That's bonkers. I'm dying to see the, the, um, the high speed record it's gonna go for. They're gonna do it at the NASA. That's the way to do a high speed run. Um, you get great verification, you got uh, governmental verification and just a great way to do it. Um, a legitimate way to do it in my mind. So it's beautiful, it's 13, I think 1300 kilos altogether. Uh, it's like 1700 horsepower with uh, E96, uh, E93 race gas on normal gas, I think it's 1500. Um, it's, it, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful car. So uh, congratulations to Hennessy, uh, they have a new logo, it's their 30th anniversary logo, so congratulations to them. I don't know how well this car is gonna sell, uh, hopefully it sells well. Uh, like I said, this is unbiased look. So the Venom GT, the car that became before it, they were going to make 50, but they only sold like 12. I don't know why that was. Uh, to me, that car was just basically an extended Lotus Exige with a very powerful engine in it. It's still very beautiful, but I think this F5 uh, brings it into uh, a true category of its own as a hyper car. Um, in my mind, it actually, what it would be considered is like a mega muscle car. So if you've heard it or seen it, so if you go to Shmi or Mr. JWW, I'll put a link to their channels in the description. It sounds insane, but it sounds like a muscle car. So to me, it's more of like a mega muscle car. Now, this high speed run they're gonna do leads me into my next discussion, which is the SSC Tuatara rerun. This car has been a show from the get go. Uh, as you guys know, if you haven't heard yet, they went for the high speed run. It averaged out to like 312 miles per hour. They went 330 one way, 300 uh, miles an hour the other way. Uh, several channels, Robert Mitchell, Misha, and Shmi found uh, discrepancies with the run. Uh, Devitron, the measurement company, uh, found discrepancies and did not validate. Uh, they only lent the equipment to measure it, but didn't validate it or calibrate it themselves. Guinness Book of World Records wasn't there, which seems fishy to me. A real bummer is the driver, Ollie. Uh, He's a really good guy and runs the production team who did the filming, the video work, his uh, buddy work. He's a great guy, uh, YouTube channel. He's worked with uh, Parker Nernstein, DDE, uh, a whole bunch of channels. And I feel really bad for that. The, the debate right now is the rerun. So they're saying now, they, so they came out after uh, Jared uh, Shelby, the guy that runs the company, SSC at Tuatara, uh, said they will be doing a rerun. They're going to invite a whole bunch of famous YouTubers, including Shmi, and do a valid uh, run where that can be validated, verified, Guinness Book of World Records there, and all that. Now, they're refusing to do it, which totally blows my mind. Like, come on. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty tired of big, large corporations uh, lying to you. There was, I mean, the whole V-dub scandal with their gas mileage, there was that. Like, I'm tired of that. I'm tired of uh, just all the lies uh, going on. And you'd think in this climate, 
that they would do everything in their power to sell that car. See, in my mind is if your original runs questionable and uh, full of lies and you refuse to do the rerun, doesn't that hurt the value of the car? Like, tell me in the comments, like, tell me what you guys think. Like, so that's how I feel about this rerun. Um, Jared Shelby, like, come on, dude, like, be grateful you have this beautiful car. Just come out with the real numbers. It's still an insanely fast car. Like, I don't get why. Here's what I think. And I'll say this one last piece before we get into my next thing, which is going to probably shock the internet. But so basically, you know, like, if you're going to, uh, 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 like, have the fastest car on the planet, it's a beautiful car, it, it, you know, and I think what really happened is that with the SSC Aero, which is the car model before the Tuatara, it was fastest car on the planet at one point. Koenigsegg took it away from them um, and by such a large margin that I think what's happening is that the Yesco and the Absolute are coming out and I think what they were trying to do is fudge the numbers to a point that seemed so unbeatable that Koenigsegg wouldn't even bother try or uh, just give up. And I think that's really, really what's going on. Please tell me what you think, uh, what your thoughts are in the comments. Okay, my last story of the day. Um, so I I'm gonna, this is an automotive discussion channel. So yes, uh, um, there's channels like Life of Paulus who I fully respect, who do stories on major YouTube channels. And that's fine, that's what he does. This is an automotive discussion, so it's about the cars. But uh, something so unconscionable happened uh, last week that makes me like literally physically sick to my stomach. Savage Garage, one of the uh, biggest channels out there, um, run by Jimbo and Randy Savage. Uh, Jimbo is, you know, like me, um, you know, didn't have very much and then uh, teamed up with Randy Savage and built this amazing channel. Bought himself a Mercia Lago dream car. That's amazing. Last week, he they're on Gold Rush Rally. He uh, is being pulled over by a cop. So instead of being pulled over for doing a little bit over the speed limit, he decides to run, like evade. So he goes on a high speed chase. Like, what are you thinking? You've developed this amazing YouTube channel and worked so hard to get there and you risk it all despite, I mean, just for content, you decide to do this. And not only that, I've watched the whole video and I've watched it over and over again and it makes me sick every time I see it. You're tailing, you're almost ramming into the back of cars. Then you're behind big, huge tractor trailers on a double line which means you can't pass that's the idea of a solid line you bl like blaze out in across those lines into the other lane pass those trucks at like i don't know how fast you you were going like insanely fast and just kept weaving in and out like that like what are you thinking like i get that it's youtube i get you need content but to risk death or injury or dis uh, disabling somebody for life absolutely blows my mind. Like I'm disabled and I'm disabled because of somebody else's uh, negligence and it sucks. I hate it. I hate it every day I wake up. But you know what? I fight through it. I film for my YouTube channel and I work my butt off to do it to get the sickest content for you guys. And this channel's for you guys. So to risk it all, you now have a felony record that's evading police. You got arrested, sent to jail. So now you can't travel outside the United States. Like your car has been impounded. You have to now pay bail. So, and from what the cop said, he was just going to give you a warning. So now instead, and even if he did give you a speeding ticket, you're now tripling what you would have paid for the ticket. Like it doesn't make any sense. And like one of your sponsors for your channel is a ticket dismissing company. Like, what are you thinking? Like, I get that you're trying to get content, but that day you were going to a track with a Pagani. I would have much rather seen what happened at the track or seen, uh, you know, like 
a ticket video, like you getting a ticket and interacting with the cop, whether to see if you got the ticket or a warning, but you evaded police. Now you have a record. Like, what if YouTube sees this video and they're like, that's not cool, and then deletes your channel and gives you a community strike and deletes the video? Like, that's all your ad revenue. Like, you worked so hard to get to where you are, and I know that work. I know what it's like to film 12 hours a day, get all the content you can, then come home and edit for like another 12 hours. Cause you know, editing a video, like one of my car spotting videos, doesn't take like five to 10 minutes. Like, no, it takes 12 hours. I watched your channel develop. Randy gave you one of the biggest opportunities in the world. Like I would chop my feet off to be in your position and have as many subscribers as you. Have, as you. And like, and if I'm Randy, like, I'm like, I would be like, what the hell are you thinking, Jimbo? Like, I would seriously fire your ass. Because now you're putting Randy's business at risk. You're putting other people's lives at risk. Like, all, like, what? You didn't get away. And now, you also put Gold Rush Rally at risk. Like, what if they're, what if next year they'll be like, no, Savage Garage is too much trouble. I don't care if they're a sponsor. And I know I'm a small channel, I'm, I, I, I don't have a lot to say, but like, come on, man. Like, if you would have hit somebody and killed them or disabled, like, I want you to seriously think of how that would feel. Okay, guys, so I've let this run uh, long enough. Um, thank you. This is my first discussion video. Obviously, it's a little uh, in the new. Like I said, I'm working on my studio. I have a nice little spot over there. I'm just waiting to get a few things. Um, thank you for everybody that helped me through my hard time. Um, for those of you who don't know, I was cleaned out of all my life savings. I was hacked. That's in enough. I'm going to be doing an exposed video right after this. Um, and the major banking institution that let it happen. Please like, share, and subscribe. I have merch, uh, link in description. I'll be linking all the channels I mentioned in the description. Um, please be safe. Um, thank you guys for your support and uh, see you in the next, oh, sorry. Wednesdays, discussion videos. Saturdays, car spotting videos. I got content for as long as the eye can see. Okay guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching my first discussion video. Let's grow this together. So Wednesday's discussion video, Saturday's spotting video. Okay guys, peace.